Well, good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. And here we are at the beginning of September, at the beginning of spring, and there's always a a sense of new life at this time of the year, particularly if you live where I live and the garden just bursts into colour. Today we're going to be reflecting on Jesus the Healer. And we see several important aspects of God's love for for us in Jesus. Most of all, we enter more deeply into the heart of this man for others and come to understand a love that heals. This is not about contemplating the divine power of Jesus or how he repaired the bodies or lives of a number of people during the three years of his public ministry on earth. This is about coming to know more deeply another aspect of Jesus. Jesus is able to heal because love heals. The more complete the love, the more profound is the healing. Jesus' love is penetrating. He doesn't hold back any of himself in loving. He is not put off by disfigurement or fear or contamination or even religious conventions that place limits to his loving. He is not afraid to touch and to touch deeply. His heart is full of compassion. And Jesus can so suffer with the one who suffers that he enters into the depths of even the roots of the pain of those he loves. Jesus loves so deeply he can understand and love the paralysis that causes the paralysis, the blindness that underlines the blindness, the leprosy that breaks out, in the leprosy. Jesus heals by embracing. Jesus embraces the inner illness that seems so untouchable or rigid or hidden in the darkness of denial. Jesus can love the whole person, the whole person into wellness precisely because he loves the whole person in their brokenness. With such great love, Jesus the lover can say, get up and start moving freely again, or open your eyes and see again. In Christ there is the freeing from and the freeing for, the healing from and the healing for. Jesus heals to set hearts free to give glory to God and then to be more responsive to God's movement in hearts that are free to say yes, to give their self and service to others. When we are loved, when we are deeply loved and healed, as all of us have been, our lives are not our own anymore. We have become reorientated. We become there for others and precisely with Jesus for others. It is too simplistic to see Jesus only as a physical healer. Physical well-being is not the definitive sign of God's loving care or presence. When we consider Jesus' healing of a person in the Gospels, watch the afterness, the what then of the encounter. Jesus sends the person from some inner condition to the outer world and relationships around him or her. The most basic energy of God's will, as expressed in the life and words of Jesus, is, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Being physically healed is a sign of being freed from not really having life to the full. Jesus brings this world to life in him and each of us 
is meant to come to life for this world. The will of God is not a mystical needle in a cosmic haystack for which we spend our whole lives searching. That would not be a loving God to play around with us in that way. His will is simple. His will is to love us and to bring us to full life. Love, by its very nature, urges revelation. It is God's will that we trust that which we faithfully choose to do. For our part, we struggle to be honest about areas of our lives that are not alive, which are diseased and need the healing touch of Christ. This is why we take such a long, lingering view of Jesus bringing others to life. And this life includes the what next, the follow-up, the follow-through, the following. In Christ there is a freeing from and a freeing for, the healing from and the healing for. Jesus heals not for the personal contentment of the man or woman of faith, but rather for the personal completion that is received in joining his mission of bringing life to others. The will of God is that each of us be healed from not believing in God's love for us and for this world. Our blindness, our paralysis, our being deaf, our being dead are all embraced by Christ and he takes away our good excuses that once confined and defined us. He is sent to touch us and then to send us to embrace this bent world. May you today be blessed by being open to the abundant and penetrating love of Jesus Christ. Amen.